right, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing a combo deck built around Key to the Vault. The Key to the Vault, a two mana legendary artifact equipment that says whenever equipped creature deals combo damage to a player, look at that many cards on top of their library. You may exile a non-land card from among them. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. You can cast the exile card without paying its mana cost. Every time I, I see that on a card, I'm like, okay, how can we break this? Um, I'm not sure if this, this deck is particularly broken, but it is uh, funny and, and actually quite powerful, uh, potentially, I think, because the idea of the deck is to play a flyer on turn one. Either we've got the Spyglass Siren, we got the uh, Snare Master Sprite, we got the Network Disruptor or this new Harrier uh, Strix. Um, and turn two, play the key. Turn three, equip it for three onto our flyer and attack and hope that the top card of our library is any one of these big spells that we can cast for free. We've got Breach of the Multiverse, Natali, Titan of Industry, Atraxa, One with the Multiverse, Thunderous Debut, and Galta. Um, feel free to choose any of your favorite ginormous monsters and magic and put them in the deck. Um, one of the other keys to this deck, uh, no pun intended, but uh, is these lands which let us manipulate <clears throat> the top part of our deck. Now we've got the new conduit pylons which let us surveil when it comes into play, and the crystal grotto which let us scry when it comes into play. So the ideal hand is to sort of play a turn one flyer, turn two key of the vault, and then turn three we play one of these to manipulate the top of our deck. If it's one of these 20 big spells, keep it on top. If not, put it on the bottom or to the graveyard and give yourself a better chance of hitting something big off of these. Um, so that's the idea of the deck. Pretty simple. Mulligan until you get to the, the key of the vault and decent hand. You can uh, just do that and hope that we can get lucky and the potential to cast a turn three Italia, a turn three breach. Uh, any of these cards on turn three will probably win the game. Um, so let's jump into some games and see if we can make it happen. All right, key to the vault combo. Looking for our E here. See if we can find it. We're on four here. I think I'd rather go to three. There we go. Um, we don't need these in our hand. And do we just want to hope to draw more lands? We have 20 lands in the deck, and yeah, I think that's our best shot at doing something powerful. So just hope to go run around our land. Uh, target. We gotta target something, huh? There, up here. All right, that gives us a pretty good shot here. Well, can't complain about that. All right, it's like a token list. Yep, lethal demolition, <clears throat> night air to perfect draw. Let's see what's on the top of our deck, though. We shall see. We got a winner. Ooh, ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. All right, um, a creature that could be useful. Take a Scryland and this will either top down something or this can give us a map token. 
Any map token might be a little bit more useful. But I don't know if they can beat the tracks though. Let's see what they have. But they could have that case that does damage equal to the number of creatures. But I feel like if we if they don't have an answer to this and we move the key over to the attract, so that's gonna do <clears throat> a ton of damage. I guess we'll see what's on the top of the deck before we make that choice. They are doing some powerful stuff over there. I don't think I've ever seen a better draw from the token list. Mm, that's pretty good. Let's go for that. And swing. Uh, actually, let's gain one more life here. Use a map. On a track, so we keep the Titan of Industry on top. Okay. Yep. Play this. We will make a 4 4 on game. Do they have a. Enchantment or something we can blow up. I don't see anything here. We'll just gain five. Sure. In a life. Recruiter, yep. Swing with everything, I'm assuming. They're tapped out, so I'll just block the biggest stuff here. I don't think that's enough damage that they have. And we have more than enough on the way back, so... Just double-checking. This is two, four, nine, and then this is ten, nineteen. Yeah, that's not even close. Okay. Well, <clears throat> sometimes you mulligan to three, the opponent has a nut draw, and you just completely obliterate them. <laughs> wow, okay. That was a good showing for the deck. GG. Alright, we are key to the vault comboing in standard. Looking for the namesake. Here we are. Putting back, I'm not sure if there's the benefit of having Galta in our hand necessarily or having another one drop. I think we want the other one drop here. <clears throat> okay, I got the land. It's fine. Um, lead on the Siren. And here we go with turn three. See if they got the removal. We'll at least threaten to equip next turn. They tap out. Gives us a good shot. Doing something silly. Okay. That is going to. Nobody knows Domino. 
and our hopes and dreams for turn three, anyways. Okay, another flyer. Hmm. Let's play. I think we'll play two of them. And then leave one to discard to Liliana, and then leave the hand a land. <clears throat> Because if we leave the land in hand, that will uh, give us the scry, the surveil next turn. Of course, if we draw another land, then we could use the map. Hmm. But if we don't, then it's not quite as good. So we'll just leave it in hand for now, I think. And just say go here. Of course, we could have then tried to surveil for land. I'm tired of your secrets. All right, uh, see a reason to block right now. Okay, well, we did end up trying to land, so last turn that would have been good. <clears throat> well, hopefully we can get something. One with the multiverse is pretty good. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it on top. And... Go equip the one here, and then this does not trigger on Planeswalker, correct? Player, yeah. Okay, and this will go after Liliana. Let's see what's on top. Okay. Oh, decent. Let's see what they got. Greyhound OG. Takes down our creatures. Sure. Each player discards, yep. So, got a few looks at something good on top here to play. Well, that is fine. And I'm going to go to the grave. And then, well, that works. Sort of. Does let us tap down. This is the kicker version. Oh, cast with one with multiple. Oh, I see. We'll just cast it regular. And auto pay the two. Tap this down. Okay, here we go. Now we can reach the multiverse. And choose two. Uh, we shall, what does the opponent have? Shielded sounds pretty good. Take one of those. And, and attracts us sounds pretty good. I'm trying to think if there's any other way we could possibly lose. Creature. Nope. 
any sort of burn spells they could get us with. All right, good game. All right, key to the vault combo. And we got it in the opening hand, so that's a keep. And that's Strix. And tap down the island. Uh, we got googly eyes versus googly eyes. Bushwhack. Okay. It's like, you're killing the bird. No, you can't do that. Um, Alright. <clears throat> Lay out the key. Swing. Let's see what they got. Okay, extra land drop. Okay, let's see how lucky we are, I think. Um, that is the play. Let's see what's on top. <laughs> Better lucky than good, I guess. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, an artifact, a creature... And a Skyland would be perfect. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that was absurd. Okay. <laughs> oh, some sort of land ramp going on over there. Um. Okay, let's just see what's on top here. <clears throat> Another Traxa. Don't actually need that. Um. On the bottom. Funny enough. This is legendary, huh? Yeah. So let's just move it to here and just make sure we get another huge hit. And swing. Because now we'll look at the top seven. And a tally sounds good. Okay, <laughs> that was a nice turn four. Uh, turn three, a tally. Turn four, or turn three attracts a turn four, a tally into Titan of Industry. All right, GG. All right, we are trying to combo off key to the vault. And we are going to mulligan until we find it. And here we go. Excellent. So we'll put back one of these two. Probably the Titan. Keep here. Because we got our curve. And turn one Strix. Googly eyes versus dragon. Ooh, feisty. <laughs> okay. Looks like tokens. I enjoy that they have no ways to block this guy, typically. So, we'll just uh, see if we can get a little lucky on turn three here. Yep, there's the Warden. And then this is going to be another sort of nut draw. Gleeful Demolition into... into uh, the Knight. Looks like it. Or maybe he's just tapping for the Warden. Oh, okay. Still a very good draw <clears throat> from them. But let's see if we can do better. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's on top. Uh, I mean, could keep this and cast it for free, but we're going, we're going big or going home here.
and well, that's about the same. <laughs> so we'll cast it. Gives us another another duder. And the good thing is, like, you know, you get to do this each turn. So if they uh, if you miss on one turn, you get another shot at it the next. But we're kind of running out of time. This is quite the clock. So, best draw would be another <coughs> Pylons Scry effect. Um, or a map token would be pretty good too. Okay, I don't think I'm going to block here. <laughs> okay, I'll draw both of those. Um, down to seven. I'm gonna, I'll leave one back to block. Maybe I should have jumped last turn, but kind of all in on this being a good hit. Nope. Um. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have drawn. Use the ability to draw and then discard. A uh, small error uh, on my part there, because that would have. Do we know what's on top? Yeah, well, oh, I guess this went to the bottom. That was on top, so we could have drawn it and played it, and that would have given us a little more selection. They just have to attack and put us out of our misery. All right. GG. All right. We are trying to get key to the vault. Well, this is... I don't think we can keep this. So, okay. This is much better. Um, put back the Galta. Put back. The disruptor and yep. Let's lead off on the siren. Yep, there it goes. Not long for this world. Okay. So should we play the key or should we just play the Carrier Strix. Oh, I'm definitely going to play this land, so let's see what's on top. Crystal Grotto. Mm hmm. Interesting. Do we want that on top? If we play this and then we play the map, do we want to make this too... Power. Is that... I mean, that is useful. I think that's probably more useful. Is there a reason to play this instead of this, though? I'm not sure. We'll play that, and I think... Hmm. We'll hold off, actually. On... We'll hold off on using the map, because on the turn that we hit with the key to the vault... Well... It would be nice to use it to clear our land off the top. <clears throat> But that could be a small mistake on my part. Although I can still do it now. I think what I want to do is just play this key and then... Um... 
do I want to play the key? There it goes, okay. I guess we'll just save it. Tricky decisions in terms of how you sequence your lands in this deck and using the map token or not. Um, I think here I'm just I'm gonna use the map token. I want well hit a land. And I think we're actually just not going to play it, because I don't see a reason to. Just hope they're out of shocks. They're playing, well, maybe eight shocks. Let's see. That was a lot of damage. Going in for the big swings. Alright, we're going to need an Atraxa... Or something of that nature. That'll do. That will do. All right, I've got an Itali on my side, which sounds like the pick. And then on their side, Phoenix check. I'm good. Oh, well, I'm not going to not take it. Um, okay, I have to click done. Now he hits. Uh, okay. Right. And a shock, which sadly can't kill one of their guys, so I guess it goes space. But we've got some blockers now. Chandra can do like me to one. Oh, another Phoenix chick. And then this doesn't. Oh, wait. This does work. Do we want to put the chick in the yard, though? This chick is when you attack with how many creatures? Three or more. Hmm. Is it better to, to, to not? Mm, we'll, we'll put it in the yard. <clears throat> okay. And... Gotta gain some life. <laughs> so, we can move it to the Itali. Which would give us seven shots at it. Um, or make sure we attack the Chandra. <clears throat> hmm. Do we... The land drops are tricky, actually, because we want to have this network disruptor back. Yeah, I mean... How much does that matter versus... I don't think that matters very much at all. I think the most important thing is that we hit something good. Okay, that doesn't do it. I don't think. Actually. Because that wouldn't... We need a Titan of Industry. Because if we if we put that in, into play, then you could just ping us here, and that would end the game. Uh, this can attack this. This doesn't work when you attack. Uh, so top seven got to be Titan of Industry. Okay, we hit. Actually, we got a Galta, <clears throat> which can put the Titan of Industry in our hand into play. So we'll just do that. Submit 
Let's submit. Okay. Target a permanent. What to tap? Is that what this is? Yeah. End of industry. Uh, gaining the life and a 4-4. Four, four. Ooh, all right. I need like two <clears throat> burn spells here. I don't know. That would get them out of this. I do have lightning helixes in the deck. Two lightning helixes. Or a shock and a lightning helix. Because this can do one. Whew, got there against Mono Red. <laughs> Alright. Close one. GG. Alright, welcome back to the wrap up. We had a ton of fun playing this key to the vault deck. Um, we even won on a mulligan to three against a very uh, good draw from our opponent. But the things you can do with this deck are just ridiculous. Um, the potential of playing a turn three uh, Itali, which then hits a Breach of the Multiverse, which then hits an Atraxa. You know, or a, a turn three one with the multiverse, which then you can cast Thunder Saber debut and then hit two big guys on turn three. So definitely a lot of power. The ceiling for this deck is there. And the floor actually didn't seem terrible. Um one thing I it would I didn't realize is it really isn't necessarily a one shot combo because if they don't kill your creature, you can just attack again the next turn. And get another shot at it. So even a turn four uh, Atraxa is is pretty good, or any of these on turn four is, is just fine. And then uh, once you get one of these big creatures into play, you can equip the key to that big creature, and then you know you have a way better chance of hitting anything um, big. Two, um, the map token was interesting with Spyglass Siren because that also lets you manipulate the top card of your deck. Um, <clears throat> and don't forget that this guy, the Harrier's Fix, has this. Uh, another ability is one game I forgot about his ability, and um, it may have made a difference if I had used it and drawn into one of these scry lands. Um, and so, yeah, you want to sequence your lands well with this deck, ideally playing um, one of these sort of manipulation of the top of your deck lands the turn uh, that you are going to equip and attack. Um, but it's got some, it's got more resilience than I thought it did. It, in one game, my mono red opponent just like removed two of my guys, and then I played the third one, and that ended up getting there. Um, and so, yeah, definitely a lot of power and potential. You know, how good it actually is, I don't know. Um, you know, definitely a bit of a meme deck, but certainly fun, and I do think you can get some wins with it. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of the deck in the comments, any improvements or changes you might make. Um, ways you could uh, make it more consistent. Um, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching as always. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.